Yo, what is up guys? Today we're going to be checking out some Greninja gameplay. Uh, so right off the start, one of my teammates actually DC uh, or just was AFK and then end up DCing. I don't know. So I don't know what happened. Uh, so I thought I was going to go top. So that's the only reason I was uh, damaging that Apom. And then I noticed that our uh, Schnorlax wasn't playing, so I decided to jungle since no one else was going to. And I was gonna go ahead and clear jungle, then obviously go help Lucario on the bottom side because uh, he's gonna need it. He's probably gonna be going against two other of their stronger players, one bottom side. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and clear this jungle. I was really hoping that he would, when your when your teammate DCs, that he would claim Snorlax to come battle with him, so I could just continue to jungle by myself. But uh, no one did. So I ended up doing it. So I had Snorlax following following me the entire game. But uh, yeah, so we're just clearing jungle. Got to level five. We're gonna go ahead and grab the smoke screen. I prefer smoke screen over the double team. Uh, I feel like both are kind of viable, but I like the smoke screen. He makes some decent plays with it. Kind of wasted there. I kind of just used it to get a little closer to my enemies. Go ahead and try to grab the Gabite, but, uh, or the Gibble, not going to, but we're gonna end up getting the dunk there. The cargo dies, so I know I gotta back off. And at this point, I just wanna clear out these bees. Go ahead and yoink that one, but we're not gonna be able to get them. I think that's the last one we're gonna get, because, uh, Gibble's on top of us, and I don't really wanna mess with him. I think we actually get that one, too. Do we get the Queen? No, we don't get the Queen. We see a Haunter, so I know I gotta get out. Use the, uh, eject button. And, uh, yep, so I see three guys, <laughs> we're just gonna go back to farming, I kinda leave Lucario here by himself, but, uh, yep, so there it is. I was hoping he would do that, no one did it, so I did it. Now I got a Snorlax set, looks like it didn't register, so I'm gonna have to do it again in a second here. <laughs> I don't blame for what happens to my Lucario in a couple minutes here, you'll see what he ends up doing. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, so he's down uh, bottom side by himself. I got Snorlax following me through the jungle. Not necessarily ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep farming, trying to get uh, to Greninja. Gonna end up yoinking that to get to level seven. He's level five, almost level six. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fruit, grab the shield, and we're just gonna go back onto getting these camps taken out so we can get to a higher level. Snorlax down here. We got Lucario down here too. He looks like he's fighting by himself. He keeps overextending. I'm not up there with him. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> he had a tough game. He had a tough game. He was bottom side by himself. I can't blame him. But uh, I don't really care about this fight. They're close enough to their spawn. I just want to steal their camp, get that XP. We're almost level 8. I'm trying to get to level 9. I'm going to be able to grab the Gibble here as we see he's only level 5. It's a little ambitious for me to dive in like that, but I knew I had the eject button available. I'd, I used my smoke screen to get in, grab the Gibble, get to level 8, go ahead and grab this fruit, grab the shield, and then I'm going to go take the bees. I don't think we can take uh, take uh, Dreadnought quite yet just because uh, there's Greninja's in the area. Gibble's going to be coming back, so I wanted to go see if we can get a pick off before we did that. There's Gibble, there's Greninja, so we're going to see if we can get this pick. Looks like we're going to be able to grab the Gibbles. He's only level 5, Lucario grabs him. Nice and easy. He, I figured Lucario can handle the Greninja, or at least stall enough time for us to be able to grab Dreadnought. I think it's worth the trade, even if Lucario dies, so we're going to go ahead and grab Dreadnought. Me and Snorlax here. If uh, he ends up losing... And which he does, and uh, he's probably gonna come down here. We actually get Dreadnought before it happens, but I was planning to use my ultimate for him. And I know that's the fake one, but uh, you know, auto aim, okay? So can't blame him for that. And there we go, there's the Gabite. Pikachu's over here now, so I know it's 3v2 at least, because Lucario is back doing, uh, doing jungle. We're actually be able to grab the Gabite. There we go. I actually missed my Unite move there because uh, he flashed out. No problem. Not the worst thing in the world. Go ahead and back to farming. And we get the pick anyway, so there we go. Didn't dunk the 40. Pikachu is on his way back. And I know the Gabite should be on the way back too, so didn't really, didn't really think it was ideal to try to get the 40 off. Go help topside. Maybe we can grab Rotom. 
was my thought process as we only see Snorlax up here at the moment. We'll actually be able to grab Snorlax here. Take him out. Dunk this 40. Maybe? Yep, there we go. And we're going to be able to grab the Gengar as he dives in for some reason. But uh, we got Snorlax doing Rotom. I know bottom side is getting get taken advantage of with only one person down there. So I didn't even help with Rotom. Just go down, try to keep these guys off our camps. He uses a Unite move off of me. And I should have died. I did die. Okay. So uh, that one I should have just uh, not not uh, use my auto attack when I after I used my smoke screen and gave myself away I should have just ran back I was a little greedy I was higher level than him I knew the Pikachu was there I wanted the kills you know it happens it happens no big deal so let's just go ahead back to bottom side we see uh, Dreadnought is gonna pop up in seven seconds here so I call him for backup hopefully Looks like Lucario quit too. This is what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> he gave up. He was sick of going bottom side by himself. I don't blame him. <laughs> so I was hoping that someone other than me would eventually call for him to come help him. Doesn't happen. So I have Snorlax and Lucario following me around. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't pop up immediately. Maybe he hasn't uh, left quite yet. But we go ahead and grab the Greninja there, and now we're back on the Dreadnought. We see two people are top. I see the Gabite coming down, but I know I'm way higher on level on him, so I don't, I'm not even worried about it. Just going to go ahead and take him out real quick and grab Dreadnought. I see a teammate votes to forfeit, and there's only three votes available, so I know he quit already. <laughs> there's a little three-piece. We got the Gengar and the Gabite. Try to get the dunk off. I was hoping Snorlax would be able to... Uh, take the damage for me, he doesn't. That's alright, no problem. Use my Unite move, grab the Gabite, get the 5 piece, get the dunk off. Here comes Gengar. <laughs> Let us get the dunk off, pops it, and almost died. I end up backing up, going back to spawn. No, I think I go back to jungle here. Just go back to farming. Nope. Uh, I use Surf because right there, just to grab for the HP. So I use Surf. Gengar is a little too pushed up. He does grab Snorlax. It's no big deal. It's just an AI Snorlax. So I probably could have saved uh, Slowbro here. Oh, I did. Oh man, I don't remember this game as well as I thought. But okay, so we <laughs> grab the Greninja that pushed up. Uses Unite move, and I know I'm way over ranked compared to the rest of them. So I'm not. I wasn't really too scared about that fight, even though he uses Unite move. He got the little stats boost for using the Unite. Now I'm just trying to get to level 15 before uh, Zapdos spawns, not going to. I see the Slowbro is getting harassed by the Garchomp, so I want to save him. There, that's, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> this is the one we don't save him. Uh, this is a lot of damage. I think I end up backing out here because... Uh, maybe not. Yeah, we do. Okay. I do end up backing out here. Don't want to die. Dying before Zapdos, not the, not ideal. You don't want to die when Zapdos is up. Pikachu's is the top side, so we know he's going to either come from mid or top side, most likely to come help his team with Zapdos. See, Snorlax is already here. We're going to be able to grab him since he's by himself. I don't know where their fifth was or if their fifth quit as well. I don't know. I don't know. Not sure what happened, but here we got the 3v1 of Snorlax. Be able to grab him, no problem. This is where I don't want to attack Zapdos right now. I kind of want to grab the incoming kills available. Use the smoke screen, because I saw Garchomp coming in. And uh, Garchomp can put out some damage, so we're going to go ahead and take care of those. Use the smoke screen to dodge his attacks, and now we can go to farming Zapdos, hopefully. Uh, not quite sure where my Talon Flame. He wanted to dunk his 50, I guess. Secure the points. I don't know. Kind of risky. We should have just grabbed Zapdos. Because if that Snorlax stole it, we probably take an L here. Pikachu is still on our side. He's just tr trying to farm points for them. I'm just trying to get to uh, trying to dump my 50 off, get the score off. And there we go. After you score your points, a smart move would be go back. But I kind of figured we had the win, and I knew I hard carried this game, so... <laughs> I wanted to see if I could stack the stats, you know? See if I could get another killer, too. 
and I don't think we will be able to, but we end up dropping a 20 bomb on this game. 3v5 with two AIs on my team, so I th it was a pretty good game. I was really, I think it was the first game of the night. Do end up grabbing Snorlax and don't quite get the five off. But we are going to end up grabbing the dub here, 596 to 342. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks. Tune in again next time. Later.